All right, what is going on guys? Today, I'm gonna show you my life as an army mechanic. And right now I am very sore and not from PT. If you guys watched in the last video, we did a video on snowboarding. It's my first time and I think I hurt something in my neck. Like I like whiplash, I was like, ooh, ow, that kind of hurt. But you get the gist of it. If you guys saw in the last video, it was a very, Fun time, all right, but um, we just finished PT. We were at the gym today, and I did a lot of stretching and uh, an elliptical just to get like my legs moving and things moving because I didn't really stretch out yesterday when I got back. And now I'm feeling a lot better when I'm moving around. So we're gonna have the motor pool today and hopefully get a lot of work done. Yes. And for breakfast, as always, cereal and milk and coffee. Yes, sir. Here's the whole milk. Where's the whole milk? The red ones, great value. Let me know if you down below if you like cow milk or almond milk. All right, so. We were just on the motor pool, had our morning formation at 9.20, and I gotta go pick up my mail from Squadron because it's been piling up. Um, so I don't know if it's like this, or I think every base is mailed differently, right? It is mailed differently, yeah. So at least on our base, you get your mail, instead of going to like your barracks area, it goes to the Squadron, and you pick it up, and there's like a mail room at the, uh, the the unit building, pretty much. So, I'm gonna head up there right now and get my mail. And I don't even know what it is because I don't put that address on anything. Yo, bro. What's up, bro? You get a donut? No. Uh, Come on, bro. Hey, do you have a, a tendo? Uh, I'm leaving in like a little bit. Bro, get me a tendo. No. Harbaugh got his donuts today. He's a nice guy when he wants to be. I should make a cop joke about him because of donuts. Oh yeah. So he's a he used to be a cop, so he likes all those donuts. <laughs> Release. Bleeding the brakes. Pressing. Release. Press. Release. Press, release, crank it up. Like, turn it on. Yeah. I, I turned it off. Okay, it, that stop. Press, release, press. Release. Press. Release. Press. Holding. Release. Press. Release. Press. Holding. So we had a fill up the reservoir right there. Just a little bit. It's okay. It's like a drop or two. Damn. I think the starter stayed engaged after I started it the first time. But now it's like it's okay. Alright guys, for lunch, it's the lean and cuisine Vermont white cheddar mac and cheese. And I'm probably gonna do a Philly hot pocket. So Either that or, I don't know, I have some grapes I might bring for a snack or something. Because I don't really have a big breakfast. I don't remember, oh, I had cereal for breakfast. But yeah, that's it for uh, lunch. So the uh, the truck that we were doing the brakes on, the pads wore out so much that we had to change the rotor because the rotor 
the uh, it got worn down all the way to the fins and um, wait. Want to say hi? What what it do? <laughs> so it got worn down. He had something in my car. So it got worn down to the fence, and the uh, the piston from the caliper came out. So we had to uh, get a new caliper because we didn't rebuild it. We don't have like rebuild kits for the calipers. I don't know some people might do that, but yeah, that's like why you have to a cord turn it in because you rebuild the cal or you are able to rebuild the caliper same thing with an alternator um if you buy a new alternator or a new caliper you have to core the item same thing with batteries anything you have a core for they rebuild we need more room but so what are we doing <laughs> RTV to the pan. Like RTV to I like, pan. I like the, the blue RTV. Fuck this black shit. The blue one? Yeah, blue. I like the. What about the red one? The red one's everywhere. It's old as fuck, too. I've never seen the blue one. Yeah, we, like. I guess it was from whenever they ordered it last. Yeah, so RTV, we're gonna put this pan back up because we don't have gaskets. I don't know who has the key for that. Like, Marlboro was fucking with all that. That was like. You want me to look? Yeah. Okay. It's key 53. Alright, we got pulled off the pan to do... And do, do you need to use a belt or something? No. Just to tighten it, I would just do it hand tight. Sure. Like, tighten it as hard as you can with your hands. Because okay. gotcha. the oil will expand when you put pressure on it. Or the uh, rubber seal. But the oil filter housing was leaking from the bolt. There's two rubber seals on here and a crush washer. Just replaced it. And there's a rubber seal where it meets the engine or the uh, housing thing. And the oil filter just put on. And that has a seal also. So this thing shouldn't leak now. This thing has brand new seals. Uh, this one actually has a, uh, well this oil pan looks new, but it actually has a gasket instead of just RTV, which is uh, not normal, but the thing might smell, it has some oil on the exhaust so it's going to smoke up, but when you're uh, doing seals and stuff, make sure you lubricate it so you're not tearing rubber, um, same thing with your oil filters, any kind of seals, I always put a little bit of oil but make sure it doesn't swell while you're putting it in. Oh, That's the yeah. thing. Okay. <sighs> right now, starting the vehicle, checking the oil. Um, make sure, because to add, because the oil filter came out. So whatever oil was in the oil filter, just to add. I don't think they did a full drain, but we made sure there was still oil in it. So right now, start at five minutes, check the oil after, add accordingly, and check it again. So, just little things. Hey, hey, hey. Whole Pepsi truck. This is a Zamboni that we modified. That's the light, the other light. There's a switch panel. But we, all the internals are out of it. They think that will make it slow. But this thing's race, the race ceremony. Look at this RTV on the door. I don't know why. Because he's coming out, doesn't operate. <coughs> no, it doesn't work. Can't even open the driver door. It's broken. Didn't they do a window on this and then 
when the window broke, they could have just gonna do it. Yeah. So, on that truck, we were unraveling the um, we call it winch, I think. So we just had the weight on it to pull it tight, and that's what this is—just a lot of weight.